Welcome back, everyone, and thanks a lot for staying with us. On the night of March 24th, an EF4 tornado with winds reaching 170 miles per hour devastated Rolling Fork, Mississippi. The tornado destroyed hundreds of homes and businesses, claiming 13 lives in that community. Joining us now from Rolling Fork, Mississippi, is our very own Robin mm -hmm. Roberts. And Robin, I know this is your home state. You are from Mississippi. The images, the destruction, it's just heartbreaking to look at. You've been touring the damage. Where are you right now? I am at a distribution center right now in Rolling Fork. It's the high school that's been transformed into a recovery haven. Uh, you see the cars that are lining up. You see the Mississippi Food Network, uh, locals, people from the area just coming in in droves. And it's neighbors helping neighbors. And we came here as part of our initiative with GMA, um, Mississippi Strong. And we've made a commitment to be here every every step of the way in the recovery process and rebuilding and reopening. But yes, I'm proud to be from uh, the SIP. And Robin, it is so good to see you there and important to have you there as well. Uh, you got a chance to spend some time with the police chief there, Michael Miles, who also ah. had his home. It was destroyed yes. there. What stood out to you mostly about that interview? Oh my goodness, DeMarco. First of all, he was telling me that he was a former high school star here <laughs> at, uh, at, the, at the local high school. That's what he was telling me, that he played football. But that's the kind of community uh, that it is. But what he was really telling me, DeMarco, he kept saying over and over and over again, we're going to be okay. We are okay. They are so, so hopeful. They are so incredibly upbeat optimistic, real, they know they have a long road ahead of them. Um, but to, to, to lose his home as he did, and his living with his mom now, who's 86 years old, and was the one of the few, if not the only, inhabitable home in her neighborhood. And that's another that was strange thing. You'd see one home, you know, just down to the rubble, and then the next home intact. It was just so random how, um, how it happened. But I gotta tell you folks, I gotta tell you both, Eva and DeMarco, we've been doing this a lot of time, a long time reporting. There is something special here in Rolling Fork. Mm -hmm. They, they are truly bonded together. They are truly appreciative of, um, of people remembering um, what happened a month ago and the road that they still have ahead of them. Uh, Robin, I know you're planning mm -hmm. on returning to Roland Fork. You're also a Mississippi native. You talked about being from the SIP, and that's what we call it there. What has this experience <laughs> been like for you? Oh, DeMarco. Whew. Mm, I've been really good. I haven't cried all morning long. Um, it's great to be back home. And it reminds me of Katrina. It reminds me of when I, I did this, I cried on, on air. Uh, I didn't even cry on GMA, but on GMA3, I'm doing it. No, <laughs> yeah, but I, I remember just that feeling of hopelessness and um, the feeling of, oh my gosh, is my, is my hometown ever gonna be the same? And it's better than it ever was. And I know that Rolling Fork will be as well. And so um, it, it hits home, literally, it, it hits home for me. But I'm so grateful um, to everyone at Good Morning America. Our, our EP, uh, um, she, she stepped forward, Simone Swink, and she said, okay, you know what? Mississippi Strong, this is gonna be a, a, a true commitment that we are going to be with them every phase of the recovery. I call it the three R's, maybe because my name is Robert Renee Roberts, but I call it the three R's. <laughs> I call it about how there is the removal of the debris, how there is then the rebuilding, and then you can reopen. And so we plan on, no, we are pledging at GMA every step of the way to be here. Um, along that journey here to Rolling Fork. And Rolling Fork is strong, folks. It Very really strong. Is. And you know, it, it, it's again so good to see you. And uh, you and I both know something about growing up Thank in the Bible you, Belt. You got to count it all joy when something like this happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it is so yeah, incredibly really important do. Do. Mm -hmm. that you are there, Robin, making sure that these people and this community is not forgotten. Yeah, and thank you, because I know you're going to tell people how they can help at home, because I, we've got the best viewers. You know that. You know that we, people who watch GMA3 and Good Morning America, they, they give from the heart. And you can help, as Robin just mentioned. Scan that QR code right there on your screen if you'd like to get it. Yeah, just holding back tears in my mm -hmm. seat here. Yeah, very special yeah. to have her there. Yes. And to not forget. And these communities, they're so special, these small communities all across our country. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.